32 now and 10 news is following breaking news out of Sherman Heights where right now traffic is moving again after that deadly crash. This is just below the 15. The sound so loud that neighbors describe it like an earthquake and the scene as just horrific. Now about 45 minutes ago power was restored to those thousands of people who were without power. New this half hour. 10 news reporter Hannah Mullins is live with what residents saw and heard. Good morning Hannah. Good morning. Police say he was rounding the curve on Imperial, but lost control and plowed right into the power pole. The moments that followed were both disturbing and deadly. We want to go to some video we have because our photographer was rolling as they wheeled him away from that horrific crash that claimed his life. And the driver's side took the brunt of the blow and his body was so mangled they couldn't even tell how old he was at first. But at five we learned he was just 20 years old. When he came around the curve he knocked the power pole right out of the ground and power lines went flying over the freeway. One even hit a car driving down the 15. And we talked to neighbors who were shaken up by what they heard and sickened by what they saw. I told my wife, I think it's going to start shaking like an earthquake. That's how, that's how it started sounding. It's just horrible. I don't know what to think. It's the saddest thing ever. The car was towed away about five minutes ago. Power is back on for all of the 4,000 customers who were without power. The investigation does continue out here. Of course, that ambulance was never needed. We're live in Sherman Heights, Hannah Mullins, 10 News.